Good morning. Today is Monday the 18th of October and it's the Feast of St. Luke, the Gospel writer, the Evangelist. In the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, who chose St. Luke to reveal by his preaching and writings the mystery of your love for the poor, grant that those who already glory in your name may persevere as one heart and one soul that all nations may merit to see your salvation. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the second letter to Timothy. Paul writes, Demas had deserted me for love of this life and gone to Thessalonica. Crescens has gone to Galatia and Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark to come and bring him with you. I find him a useful helper in my work. I've sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak I left, I left with Carpus in Troas and the scrolls, especially the parchment ones. Alexander the coppersmith has done me a lot of harm. The Lord will repay him for what he has done. Be on your guard against him yourself, because he has been bitterly contesting everything we say. The first time I had to prevent, present my defence, there was not a signal, single witness to support me. Every one of them deserted me. May they not be held accountable for it. But the Lord stood by me and gave me power, so that through me the whole message might be proclaimed for all the pagans to hear. And so I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Word of the Lord. The Gospel is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10. The Lord appointed seventy-two others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit. He said to them, The harvest is rich, but the labourers are few. So I asked the Lord of the harvest to send labourers to his harvest. Start off now, but remember, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Carry no purse, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you go into, let your first words be, Peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him. If not, it will come back to you. Stay in the same house, asking what food and drink they have to offer, for the labourer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Wherever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what's set before you. Cure those in it who are sick and say, the kingdom of God is very near you. The Gospel of the Lord. So today's readings, the first is the reference to Luke in Paul's letter to Timothy. I think that's the whole point of that particular reference. Not 100% sure that it is the same Luke. It was a fairly common name. But it's pretty certain it is. And it's lovely to hear that Luke stayed with Paul. And the Gospel is, in a sense, an outline of the points that Luke emphasises in his, his portrayal of Jesus. Jesus' simplicity, Jesus' care for the poor, Jesus' care for those who are sick and are, and are in need. Each of the four Gospel writers wrote their Gospels to tell the story of Jesus in such a way that the listeners might find faith. We know, for example, that St Matthew wrote especially for those who were Jews following the law of Moses and being members of the Jewish community who had become Christian. Luke, in many ways, is like Paul. He's more turned towards those who are not Jews, the Gentiles, as they're called, people of other faiths, people of other persuasions. The heart of Luke, though, is his humanity. It's often said Luke was a doctor. And that's why he notices children, he notices women, he notices feelings, he notices actual poverty. One of his emphasis all the way through is simplicity. So whereas Matthew might say, I only take one spare shirt and one spare set of sandals, Luke just says, don't bother with any spares at all, just go, do it. Uh, there is a simplicity and straightforwardness about him. Luke was the one who was interested to include the conception, the Annunciation of Jesus, the Annunciation to Mary, of the birth of 
conception of Jesus and then his birth in much more detail than the others. He wanted to tell the full story. And of course at the other end, Luke is the one who wrote Acts of the Apostles, the second half of Luke's work, the story of the spread of the church across effectively the whole of the known world then, across the Mediterranean, ending up in Rome. So Luke is, uh, one, in a sense, a complete portrayal of the life of Jesus and his meaning for us, and is always turning to us, say, recognize that you need Jesus, recognize your weakness, um, and especially recognize the needs of those who are poor. Include yourself among them. Um, the whole, whole presentation of Mary as being one of the, the poor little ones that God chose. Um, so there's so much to rejoice and celebrate about in today's uh, feast of St. Luke, the, the evangelist, one of the twelve apostles. We turn now, I beg your pardon, I don't think Luke was one of the twelve apostles. How much to celebrate in the life of Luke, the evangelist. We turn now to our bidding prayers. Strengthen your church, Lord, Lord, in faith and love. Our Saviour destroyed death and through the gospel revealed eternal life to us. With joyful praises let us make him known and let us say, Strengthen your church in faith and love. Lord Jesus, in times past you have lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy the sign of your loving kindness. Strengthen your church, Lord, in faith and love. You forgave the sins of your people with holy pastors when holy pastors prayed. Continually cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. Strengthen your church in faith and love. In the presence of their brothers, you anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your Holy Spirit all the leaders of your people. Strengthen your church in faith and love. Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you have redeemed by your passion. Strengthen your church in faith and love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you chose St. Luke to reveal the mystery of your love for the poor in his preaching and in his writings. Grant that those who already acknowledge your name may continue to be one in mind and heart, and that all nations may see your salvation. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good day. All the best.